Hey, what's going on people? Bearfox here and welcome back to another video. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys best tweaks in NVIDIA control panel to optimize your gaming performance. So for better results, keep watching the video till the end. Also, I came to know that 96% of you guys have been yet subscribed to the channel. So consider subscribing. It's free, you know, and with all that said, let's get started with the video without wasting up any more time. Alright, the first step is to go to the link in the description below and you'll be heading to a page like this. So you have to download GeForce Experience in order to begin with your first step. This is a special program made to optimize your games and also for downloading genuine NVIDIA drivers for your graphic card. So you have to hit download now, install the software, you'll be coming to a screen like this. Now all you have to do is go to the driver section and then hit express installation if there are any updates available for the new graphics card. Once you express installed your new drivers, the first thing you need to do is to restart your PC. After restarting your PC, right click on any empty space of your desktop and hit NVIDIA control panel. Once you are here, hit the adjust image settings with preview and use the advanced 3D settings. Then go to manage 3D settings. Over here, make sure that you are on global settings, hit restore and hit yes. Once done with that, hit apply. First thing is the anisotropic filtering. Click on it and then make sure to turn it off. Then, for anti-aliasing mode, click on it and turn off. Then, for the CUDA GPUs, hit all and then make sure you select your graphics card and hit OK. Then, scroll down, open GL rendering GPU. From auto select, use the GPU you have. Then, power management mode. From optimal power to prefer maximum performance. Then texture filter quality from quality go to high performance. Then texture filtering trilinear optimization from on to off. Then, Vertical Sync from user 3D application settings to off. Once done with that, hit apply. Then go to configure sound physics. From processor auto select, choose the graphics card that you have. Then hit apply. Then for display, go to change resolution and then make sure you are using the native resolution on the highest refresh rate that your PC can allow. Then scroll down and hit use NVIDIA color settings. Then highest that your PC shows and the output color format should be RGB and the uh, output dynamic range from limited to full. Then hit yes and now your monitor will show you the best colors that it can. Now you won't see any much difference on my screen since the recorder is recording it but you guys will see it on your screen. Those were all the settings that you need to follow for NVIDIA control panel. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more awesome guides like this. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.